boys, you pretty out proud of that performance on that. Yeah, I'm really proud. Really proud of the boys. Uh, they hang in there to the last last minute. So can't fail there. Should you have won that one that time? Yeah, it's written all over, but you know, uh, you play against experience side, you're gonna do all the basic right. So like I said, I'm proud of what they achieved today. Where we started, where we end up, we end up on high. So when you look at our squad, we've got a lot of young kids. Uh, I'm proud of what Simji done. He was uh, on his way back home, <laughs> retiring. So we call him, he come back. Uh, it's good to have him on the field today. Well, what are some of the flash points in that game? Like obviously, you know, the, the uh, video ref decision on the captain's challenge, that was a big one, wasn't it? Um, opportunity to kick a field goal at one point. What, what goes through your head after the match? You know? Oh, we can't change the decision. My, um, the biggest one is uh, when we can drop the football. You know, they come up too early, so but like I said, we can't change. Uh, I'm proud of what the boys achieved today, so. You've, it's been a big turnaround <coughs> since that game um, against England, that the warm-up game. Yeah, so um, <laughs> everyone look at the, uh, the points we play against England. Our team, we come all the way uh, from back home, straight here. Uh, a few days turn around and things happen with the head coach and I come along. And since we come along, so we have to turn everything around quickly. The game against Australia, then we move on from there. You know, full credit to the boys and the coaching staff. Uh, the boys listen. We have to change the whole concept, the way we play, the way we do things. So we're going to work with what we do have. We don't have much, but we're just going to keep moving forward from here. Can they be destroyed or what? Give us another year, another World Cup or two. New Zealand. New Zealand. <laughs> That's a great ask. Um, Australia is on, on a roll at the moment. So they've been playing some good football. Is that a nice? I don't think so. <laughs> Corbin, was that definitely your last game? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is, what is Hutter? Um, it's, been a, it's been a couple of years away, living away from my son now, so it's time for me to go home and um, be hands on dad again. I'm um, looking forward to it. Like I said, like, Six months ago, I made made the decision to <clears throat> retire at the end of the year, and um, and the, and I've already and I already had ruled myself out of the World Cup. Um, had a couple of questions questions from captain and teammates through the year, and always said no. But then, um, like I said, um, just as the boys were getting ready for that England game, um, you know, Kevin Nagaba called me and he asked me again if I'd want to play, and you know, I, I made the decision there. There and then that I was gonna, you know, that was the way I was gonna finish off my career, and I couldn't be happier um, doing it this way now. After the, you know, after having the suspension last year and missing out on the final game of the regular season in the Super in the Super League, but you know, I went out, um, you know, went out on my terms, went out the way I started my career um, in a World Cup. So I'm pretty happy, pretty happy with my decision to return home and be a dad. What? Do you think you'd be staying another week for a while out there? Yeah. Oh yeah, I had already made plans. I, I was I was getting ready to push my flight back another day. Um, I booked my flight for the 18th of November. I thought it was I thought the final was on the 17th, so <laughs> I was I was getting ready to push it back another day. But um, you know we we had lots of belief out there, especially in the first half. We played really well. A um, couple of couple of silly errors, but you know the, um, they're a world they're a world class side and they're a world class side and. Um, they're world champions, and you know the caliber of player that they have. You just can't can't give them easy, easy meters. You can't give them good field position because they'll capitalise on. Corbin, I know the, the, this city's only played a small part in your career, but and I know it was at the other side of the city. But how poignant does it feel that you are signing off here? Yeah, good. I, yeah, I've I've really enjoyed my last the last two years in Hull. I uh, love living there. I lived in <coughs> lived in town, so I got to see a fair bit of Hull, and um, no, I'm really happy. Really happy that. Oh, well, I'm not happy that we finished, but I'm happy that you know I got to play another last game in um, in sunny old Hull. So it's good. It's good to see some fans and even fans out there like they still they're still calling for me. I still see some fans out there in the um, in the red and white, which is good. Corbin, you, you initially said no to playing for Fiji, and a lot of other players have, have said no as well. Do you, does what happened tonight like, make you think? Imagine if we were in full strength, how good you could be. The reason that I said no is because. <coughs> my body was not going to let me and my mind wasn't going to let me um, 
at that at that time when I made that decision, my, my body and mind went, wasn't going to let me make it through past the end of the year. So that's the reason I said no. The only reason I said yes is because I know the I know the feeling and the passion that's in this group. Um, no matter who no matter who's in the team, we always know that um, you know we can do something special. And we almost done something special again tonight. Um, I'm sure a few of his, few of, like few people out there were really really surprised about the first half, but we weren't. You know we knew that. Um, you know, if we played our brand of footy and we played the way we want to play and uh, minimise the Kiwis to you know what we did in that first half, um, we knew we'd we knew we'd be in a good position. But like I said, they're class caliber side and they've got strike a, a, across the park, and that's just what happened. Do you think if everyone was available, you might have been able to, you know, oh, I can't really speak on that, man. I can only speak on the the crew that we've got here, and you know, as a as a senior player of the of the Fiji Bati now for the last couple of um, for the last ten years and um, seeing that seeing the calibre of boys that we've got coming through is you know it's exciting for the Fiji and rugby league. What do you think, was? Yeah. If you were at full strength, Fiji, full strength. Fiji was at full strength. Yeah. Well, we differ story. Um, they got experience. That's why they go over the line. So they hang on to the football and play football. Like Coburn said, we we done two mistakes in the first half, they score points. We have done two more mistakes again, they score points. So that's the way it is. Well, it's been three consecutive semi-final efforts and for, for Fiji. It's been an amazing run over over twelve years, hasn't it, for, for the Barty to make? Yeah, the thing that um, got me because most of the most of our players come over from Fiji. They come across <laughs> and get developed by an NRL player, playing player. Most of the island boys are born out of town. Some of the other born in Australia, New Zealand. So for us, well, ninety percent of the kids playing today, they all from back home. To come in the system and progress within two, three years, get to the top. So I think uh, the future, like the future, the future, Fiji rugby league is much better than any other nation, I guess. Corbin, what did you speak about during the week around where you, where you thought you could hurt the Kiwis? Um, I reckon, I reckon we showed. I reckon we showed what we what we spoke about. Um, you know, we t if we took it took it to the Kiwis <clears throat> to start the game, um, and I think I think this weather sort of played a bit into our hand as well. Um, the way the way we wanted to, you know, roll roll the Kiwis down the pitch, um, you know, force areas which we done, but then on the on the flip side of that, they forced they forced areas for us, and but they they capitalised on them, and you know, we put up we put up a good fight. Um, you know, that's just the way it is. It's the way it is. They're a great side, and some calls didn't go our way, which is just the, the you know, game of footy now. How important was the start? Probably them starting a bit slow and you getting on top of them. Oh, I don't, I don't think they started slow. I think we just come out with a lot more, lot more vigour in um, some of the things that we've done. Don't get me wrong; they they played really good footy in the first half, but I feel like we 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 had the opportunities and we took took control of the game. When we needed to, but then um, it's the little lapses that you can't have against sides like that. So that's the thing that Fiji, um, Fiji and rugby leagues, you know, working on uh, the last, like you said, we say the last um, three or four World Cups now, um, progressing, progressing. So even though we didn't make it to the semi-finals this year, there's a lot of there's a lot of progress and a lot of um, a lot of a lot of good things to take into not only the next World Cup but the future games, future games for the Fiji Bati. Do you think you were hard done by with the captain's challenge? Good man in the game. Which one? The one that they got in the penalty. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying anything about that. I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not going there. Don't swing. Yeah, I'd love to, but I don't know if I'm officially allowed to say it or not. And because <laughs> I've got, oh, I've got a lot of opinions, but no, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say them just yet. I'm going to wait until I'm well and truly clear. Oh, maybe I'm twenty. Maybe twenty three. Right? Well, maybe twenty three. How hard is it to take that decision? Which one? The one that seemingly you maybe feel cost you. So not necessarily commenting about that if you feel that's getting you in trouble, but personally, how hard is that to take? I don't think it was any one decision that um, lost us the game. We made errors in the first half. Could have capitalised on those. Um, could have capitalised on those and put us in a better position leading into the second half, but that's the thing. You can't just dwell on the one error, the one call, um, you know, the one forward pass, the one missed tackle. You know, everyone... Everyone makes mistakes, and everyone, you know, has everyone has a good game, and everyone has a bad game, and we all we all dwell and we all um, live in each other's glory, and um, you know that's what that's the good thing about this side. We 
you know, we don't dwell on the bad things. We, you know, we lift each other up and you know, we back each we back each other. Um, not only for this game just gone, but like I said, for future games for the Fiji Butty, I'm going to be excited to be a spectator. Hopefully, coach. Nah, I can't. <laughs> well, I'm hopeless. <laughs>